Ojalá me pueden escuchar así. During a press conference in Bogota, representatives of the UN, National University in Bogota and Catholic Church announced the names of the second group of victims to take part in Colombia's ongoing peace talks in Havana. Eight women are included in the group of 12, a proportion that is intended to reflect the heavy price that women have paid throughout more than 50 years of internal conflict. Women have suffered disproportionately um, in, in this conflict. Women, there's been acts of sexual violence, um, they've had their children uh, recruited, um, many have been victims of uh, anti-personnel mines, uh, and, and women, while uh, not taking up arms, or not many of them, have suffered uh, disproportionately the, the consequences, and we've tried to make that visible in the delegations we've sent. While most within Colombia's media concentrate on the role of the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia in the internal conflict, Camilo Borrero of the National University in Bogotá says that the delegations of victims reflect the conflict's far more complex nature. La mayoría de víctimas que han hecho parte de la delegación. The majority of victims that have been part of the delegation are victims of more than one actor in the Colombian conflict. We feel the simplistic nature of assigning some acts of victimization to the FARC, others to the government and others to the paramilitaries does not take into account the complexity of the crimes in the country. Over the coming days, each member of the delegation will have the opportunity to speak face to face with representatives of those responsible for the crimes perpetrated against them. As was the case with the first group of victims, the testimonies of this second group are intended to yield general agreements between the two negotiating teams on how to deal with the vast array of crimes that have been perpetrated against more than six million victims in Colombia's internal conflict. Charles Parkinson, Telesur, in Bogota, Colombia.